Hey guys, I'm back today with another design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Here's Jamie's information, but always it will be listed below. Today I'm using Not Too Shabby's Spa Day stamp set. It is finally back in stock. I've had this one for a little bit and I've been waiting for it to come back in stock before showing you guys. It is so cute. It comes with the four girls and four sentiments. And here are the images stamped and colored out. Not the best coloring, but you get the idea. I went ahead and cut them out with my scan and cut. Aren't they adorable? So I am bringing in a card base. This card base is from a pre-printed pack from Stampin' Up! from a while ago. They don't sell these anymore, but of course you just use your own pattern paper. I'm wanting to use these and get rid of them. So I'm sorry for showing something that is retired. Here is a corrugated embossing folder, which I've taken a piece of white cardstock and went ahead and run it ran it through my Big Shot. I'm attaching it with some double-sided tape. And sorry about my hand abrases and all that. I know it can be distracting. Here I've taken my um, two circle dies and I just used two circle dies to cut out this donut in a way with a huge center opening. <laughs> And I'm taking my glue. This is my glue. I have it a syringe that I purchased from Corin Wiskman here on YouTube. She has an Etsy shop. It will be linked below. If you have hand issues and can't really squeeze things, this may be an option. Um, it, you know, it just depends on the condition of your hands. For me, it's easier. For others, it may not be. So here I've taken a mirror piece of cardstock and I messed up cutting it. Right there, you can see it's kind of flat. On that side because my die shifted no big deal because it's gonna be covered anyway and I go ahead and glue that down when I was making this card I really didn't know what I was doing I have been in a funk lately haven't really been in the mood to make cards much less be able to think of ideas on how to make a card design so I was like well maybe the mirror cardstock could look like a mirror and um, you know I don't know maybe that'll just once I get going Maybe an idea will pop up. And I really didn't care for the card as I was making it. I'm like, I don't know. But the end result is really cute. So I hope you guys like it. I just really wanted to showcase this stamp set because I've been waiting so long to use it. <laughs> and I didn't want to make a card that I wasn't happy with. So I go ahead and pop the girls up I chose to use and adhere them down. I did color these ahead of time with my Copic markers. Then I am going to heat emboss a sentiment. Now I'm not using a sentiment from the stamp set. I'm actually bringing in Ellen Hudson's Spa Day stamp set and using a sentiment from that stamp set. And I'm going to heat emboss it with white embossing powder. And then I will pop the sentiment up. While I'm doing that, I do want to say next month I am going to be taking a break from design team obligations with the Not Too Shabby Shop. So below I'm going to list the other design team members. If you're not following them, definitely go check them out so you can see their projects for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, next month's videos, I'll have a few kit videos, 10 cards, one kit videos that... Um, I need to get done and I'll have a couple pre-filmed videos, but that, that'll probably be pretty much it. I'm really going to try to take a break, let my hands heal, and then kind of hopefully come back strong and kind of have some creative juices flowing since I'm kind of in a funk lately. So anyway, I am taking some twine and I'm going to wrap it around my the top of my card base. I'm going to use a glue dot just to kind of hold the end of the twine in place while I wrap it around. So here you see that. And then I'll twist it around. This twine is cheap old twine you can get at a craft store. It's very thin. Um, I bought this when I first started card making. It's definitely not a favorite. I would never repurchase it again. If you get twine, get the get the good stuff. Get the thick twine. It just looks so much better. So since this is such thin twine, that's the reason for wrapping it around multiple times. Attach another glue dot just to kind of hold those ends in place. And then I will be tying a bow with the same twine. I had someone leave a comment on one of my videos hopefully they're watching that they wanted to see how I tie a bow 
This may not be the best demonstration, but I hope it helps. So I'm going to take three pieces of twine. And then what I basically do is I make two bunny ears, which you'll see here in a moment. It's kind of like tying your shoe, but you're starting in the middle. <laughs> so make two bunny ears and then twist those together like this and loop that under and pull it through and tighten. Now, my ends were short, so I have to work the tails out so they don't get caught up and it gets untied, unraveled, whatever. So here I'm kind of fiddling with that. Sorry, it's very close to the camera and blurry. But basically you just make those two bunny ears, you tie it just as if you're tying a shoe and you tighten it. It's, there you go. It's really easy. I know there are videos out there. If you just put how to tie a bow in YouTube search, you'll find plenty of videos out there that of people that may do it a little bit differently. You may find it a little bit easier. This is how I've always done it. And here I've tightened it. Everything's good. And I go ahead and trim off the tails. And then I will attach this to my card base using a glue dot. So that would complete this card once I attach the bow. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely go check out this stamp set. It is so stinking cute. It's a, it's a fun stamp set to have in your stash. Don't forget to use coupon code CRAZYPAPERCHICK to save 10%. Check out the other design team ladies down below. I will have one more video this month to finish out the month for my design team projects for the Not Too Shabby Shop. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.